tunakuchinga meza ya mimba ya mwari tunotenda isheva tipa mkana wakututiva nama tima nguwana aneano wanga ni maru kufaro wanga maru mimba ya mwari ah wonderful wonderful um we'll just sing a song to open hallelujah mwea mswene mwuri mwari dino tambu zika Moyo wangu uno chema dino muda swin bondi za dzeiwo isa dze uya ya swino pinda mo pinda moyo Wangu ishe kuti nisi biswe o dine dungo ziro wazo dino shaya sipa asi mi asi muka nisi bi. Dino kunazos oni za zeyo zeyi za zeyo ya we ya zino pinda moyo pinda moyo wangu ishe kuti. Inoziva pasarinyu, inoziva pasarinyu, utira kana ka, uno tunga mira vose, uno tunga mira vose, mano ute. Tungamirwa kutindi chi tungami andi chawiri pasi chawi pasi o andi chamu siya baba kananzira zenyu o. Ndiza zei wo ndiza zei ndiza zei O ya we ya zino Pinda yo pinda Boyo wangu mwe ya Uti nisi mis Zira zenyu zaka naka Zira Zinu zaka naka zine rufene ko o zine zano roku faba zaka naka gua ishendi zai zai. Uya we azino pinda moyo wangu okuti nisi oni zazi nizazi nizazi u. Zino pinda yo pinda moyo wangu we kuti nisi for the last time oh nisa zindi za ze. 
Hallelujah. Brother Chawana, can you come and open with a word of prayer? Another round of applause to the Lord. Kumbira Vanavanisha <laughs> Mangata na kudambur kwa osa Majura wa kaipa adambur kwa nazitara choso Simbara ba mzoro zoro rizike Panur wala wa kupureskwa Waka sungwa wako sunungurwa Kekuti choso kena mchike mashanya Amusia wa kadoro Chino tenda kutitawesha Palego besa itaredu na asu Atitua kena takadoro Chino kutenda ya mwari mkoro pa faza Na mshumira chawa kumira mberi kuno Baba tawia kusa kusa zona munu Asa ya kunzwa emi mwari mti taura nesu Zwa mshangi saina mwaya nyuno shamisa Shikwa tibasira mwari wakanaka Katena na kupambiri kwa mwuri mpwa nesu Kune maspecha za jambu weze na kumiki za kwa mwuri Gai mwa mwapu kwa simbara mwaya mtuene Shikwa basira wana wenye mazuita mpwa nesu wakanaka Chino honga chiru mita sere nyu tuene Shikwa timakanaka mkutu kwa msere nyu di Jesu Christo Amen God bless you, Brother Chawana. Now we man get any. Now you farira. Anu vana kudamburwa. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Tunda uchinga mitza ba inzivati na wu kunyanya. Ba we are for engagement. Brother Nathan, na sister Tabeta. Tunda uchinga mitza. Isunungu kai mimi mbaya mwari. Hallelujah. Uchinga mitza. Tisumu kena toka. Gatisha di seinyasha tose pamwe chete tite chite nera ndoko na Christu shedu shewe one. Rosimba ne, Rosimba, Rake Jesu, Gati Shri Pire, Tino Imba Ti, Pai. Kareti, Kareti, Chai She, 
preparing is me faith that I can make it after all. Oh, by myself I cannot make it, but I know He's there to help me. He will hear my cry and answer when I call. Saints, keep on trusting and believing. Hear the words I hear Him whisper. Just a few more days to labor. After all, after all, after all, this life is over and our burdens have been lifted. Looking over to that city Toll Looking over to that city That our Savior is preparing Gives me hope that I can make it After all Hallelujah, we may take our seats collect the tithes and the offerings. We we'll have Sister Nyarai to come for a special. Sister Nyarai, you can come. Round of applause as she comes.
is you. Pray for the tithes and the offerings. You can come, brother. Tinamati, maru baba manora manok singa peri toro kutenda iswa kari mangwane na ano baba imkano kuya pamberu pechi karo chen chenyasha chiku tenda i baba nimpiro ya pione wana venyu shi pone shi gumi baba usatiki sa shokorenyu baba makana kato kumiro timu shi ropa fatsi ni basara shi chabata. Moroba mfatzi wa shakare mana venyu, mshinga ira kose kwa naita ni mauka awo, tinaisa shose kwa muri mstara ten Jesu Christu. Amen. Hallelujah. I think we'll just sing one song, then we'll get into the engagement. Amen. How many believe that Jesus is the winner man? And Satan is the loser man. Hallelujah. We just want to sing that song. Jesus is a winner man, a winner man. A winner man, Jesus is a winner man, a winner man all the time. Oh, Jesus is a winner man, a winner man, a winner. Let's stand up on our feet. Jesus is a winner man, a winner man all the time. Sing, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man, winner man, a winner man, a winner man. A winner man, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man, winner man all the time. Oh, I am on the winning side, the winning side, the winning side. 
I am on the winning side, the winning side all the time. Oh, the winning side, the winning side, the winning side. The winning side, the winning side, the winning side. The winning side, the winning side, the winning side. The winning side all the time. Oh, Jesus is a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. Jesus is a winner man, a winner man all the time. Oh, a winner man, 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 a winner man. Satan now, oh, Satan is a loser man, a loser man, a loser man. Satan is a loser man, a loser man all the time. Who's Satan? Satan, Satan is a loser man, a loser man, a loser man. Satan is a loser man, a loser man all the time. Sing, a loser man, a loser man, a loser man, a loser man. Ah. Oh, I lose a man, I lose a man, I lose a man, I lose a man. Someone make some noise for Jesus now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's better. Who's Jesus? Oh, we know man all the time. Who's Jesus? He's a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. Oh, Jesus is a winner man, a winner man. Wave your hands for Jesus. Oh, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. Oh, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. A winner man, a winner man, a winner man, a winner man. A winner man all the time. Oh, goodbye world. I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay no longer with you I made up my mind To go God's way the rest of my life I made up my mind To go God's way the rest of Goodbye world, sing Oh goodbye world, oh I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay no longer with you I made up my mind To go God's way The rest of my life I made up my mind To go God's way The rest of my life Someone sing born, born, born again Oh, born, born, born again Thank God I'm born again. Let me sing it. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born. One more time. Born again. Oh, born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Sing it now. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born. Oh, goodbye world. I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay no longer with you I made up my mind To go God's way the rest of my life I made up my mind To go God's way the rest of my life Hallelujah! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may take your seat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're racing a little against time. And, uh, and we have a time program. Uh, there are some people that are to use the building after us. Uh, so, um, hallelujah. So we just want to get into business. Amen. So uh, God bless you. It's nice to see each and every one of you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
And I would like to say that from this Sunday morning today, uh, every other coming Sunday, we are going to be having morning service. So, um, Amen. So we're shifting from afternoon to morning. So, uh, so that's the change which has Do taken place ya as from today. Amen. Every other Sunday it will be morning. But we have to really uh, try to keep time. Uh, because by one o'clock we are supposed to be forgetting the place uh, in order to give a chance to the others who will be coming in in the afternoon. So God bless you. Uh, like we announced, we'll be having an engagement. So uh, that's what we would like to do this morning. Uh, I will do this as quick as possible and try to be out of the way as quick as possible. And, uh, because we have a guest speaker for us today. And, amen. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Amen. So at this time, uh, I would like for amen, the couple to come up and take their seats. Uh, Nathan, Nathan and Tabitha, can you just come up, take your seats uh, by the chairs there. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sure you can see that with, <laughs> the, with the setup. Uh, it's a special day. Hallelujah. Nathan, sit this side in. Hallelujah. It's a special day. Special dress. Special tables. Special chairs. Special backgrounds. You don't get to see this often here, but uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we will rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. And be glad. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Without wasting much time, uh, you know, in the Bible, in Genesis 24, uh, the Bible tells us that Eliezer prayed to find a bride. I'm not going to read scriptures or whatever now, but just quickly go through this. And after Eliezer prayed, and he prayed a certain kind of a prayer, amen, and there's a way that he asked the Lord that the prayer should be answered. And uh, how things uh, should take place. So finally, Rebecca comes out, and Rebecca fulfills exactly the prayer of Eliezer. And then the Bible tells us that after, the, after Eliezer seen that his prayer was answered, amen, uh, he went to uh, whatever a satchel or whatever it was that he had, and he took out, the Bible says, an earring. And and uh, two bracelets. Yes, two like uh, bangles or whatever it was, bracelets. And, amen. He put, the Bible says, for the hands. And uh, there's a lot of stuff there. I just want to, want to, I just, want to uh, just go through the scripture just as it says. Praise God. And so, uh, when he produces uh, 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 the earring and the bracelets, uh, then, because you see now he had through the answering of the prayer, God had identified the bride to him. Because she did exactly as he had requested. And so the hand of God was in the answering of that prayer. And God's hand should be in the answer of your prayers as well. Amen. So everything was happening supernaturally. It was just the hand of God. So after the bride had been identified and he was convinced this is her according to the signs. Then he takes out this earring and he takes out his bracelets. bracelets. Amen. And he puts it on the girl. Now, this is happening before the actual wedding takes place. Uh, there had to be something to mark that bride. Amen. There had to be something to identify that this is the chosen one. Afterwards, runs to the house and uh, 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 prepares there for a 
a welcome. Oh, God, hey, and then uh, uh, when Rebecca's brother Laban heard uh, the story, she, and she heard Rebecca's story, and also saw the, the, the earring, earring and the bracelets. And uh, uh, Laban, you know, Laban Rabban. was a guy who was after wealth from beginning to the end. And the moment he saw these jewels on his sister, he says, money is on the way. Hallelujah. This, this, this guy must be a rich guy here. He must be a wealthy guy here. And you know the nature of Laban. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anyway, uh, uh, there was a welcome for, for, for Eliezer. Amen. So uh, what I would like to do is just take that part of where after the bride has been identified, there is something to mark her as, as the bride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The the name the name the Lord. Lord. So uh, at this time, hallelujah, uh, let's quickly get into this arrangement which is here. Uh, So, uh, uh, Nathan and Tabitha, Nathan and Tabitha, I'm sure you are fine this morning. Uh, are you happy? Sure. Uh, beautiful. Uh, so, um, praise God. Uh, engagement. Um, this is a very important time. And uh, it's one of the first major stages in the marriage process. And uh, a very, very serious stage. And uh, it is the earnest of the actual wedding. Praise be to the living God. And engagement is the same as betrothal. Where you have engagement, uh, it's the same as the Bible speaks of betrothal. And that has to do with making a commitment. Yeah, a commitment like, yeah, making a commitment. Like here, they are giving themselves to this situation here today. They are dedicating themselves to the cause. And uh, it's a situation where they now have got restricted liberties. And uh, there isn't too much freedom from now onwards. Uh, like maybe trying to look for somebody else. This, this is where shopping ends. Amen. This is where window shopping ends. Like it is sometimes said that they are hooked and they are cooked after this. Hallelujah. So uh, what a time this is. So it is a commitment. It is the promise to be wedded or to be married. It is an, it is an intention to marry. Which, which is separate from the actual wedding itself. Amen. So, uh, Praise be to God. So when they become engaged, that also has got to do with the period of time from today until the wedding day. That period in between, whether it's going to be three months, six months, or one year, that period is the engagement period. So they are not free to find or, or abandon this arrangement. They cannot make any reverses. They have to be moving on with this pledge that they are making today. So the period between is, is the engagement period. Amen. There's a commitment there. And there can be no changes. Can we say amen? Amongst the Jews, that period normally was one year. And uh, there was a reason why that period of time was given. It was to establish certain things. That if there was anything, you remember the case of Joseph and Mary? The Bible says they were engaged. But then we find that Mary became pregnant. But the good thing was that it was not a human pregnancy. This is why when Joseph 
didn't Don't understand Joseph it, it troubled, troubled him. him. And why a situation Kuti like this? Ye, Just to cut a long story short. So during that period of engagement, they are expected to be faithful and true to each other. During the same period, the bride will still be in the custody Mwenga. of her parents or guardians. It is, uh, engagement is not the ticket for them to live together. So they will still be uh, uh, separated physically. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So uh, at this time, I'm going to speak to the couple. Hallelujah. Praise God. Violating an engagement is the same as, as committing adultery. You see, the Bible says, when the angel spoke to Joseph, don't be afraid to take to you Mary so in heaven engagement was as good as marriage as far as the promise is concerned not marriage in the physical but as far as the, the vow is concerned hallelujah violation of engagement in Israel was considered an adulterer so at this time, I'm going to speak to the couple. Uh, sorry that I have to rush. You just have to listen fast. Listen quick. Amen. So I'm going to ask them to stand up. Nathan, stand up. And Tabitha, can you stand up? Praise God. Um, praise the Lord. Uh, I will speak to Nathan. Nathan, can you repeat these words? Maybe if you can speak into the microphone. These are the engagement vows. Because it is the promise to marry. Can you repeat after me, Nathan? I, Nathan, I, Nathan will, will take you, Tabitha, as my wife, my wife your, husband your husband to be at a date to be arranged. To be arranged. Uh, where is the ring? The ring is copy. I told them that they mustn't bring a wire. They must bring a proper ring. Can I have a look at that ring? Okay. Is this gold or what? what it appears to be gold. Okay, he said it appears to be gold. Okay, just stand here by me. That's fine. Uh, so now... Um, You can put the ring on the girl's finger. No, And uh, just, just help him with the microphone. Because I want him to say some words. Right, repeat these words. With this ring. With this ring. I engage you, Tabitha. I engage you, Tabitha. And look forward. And look forward to take you as my wife. To take you as my wife on a date to be arranged. To take, uh, on a date to do, on a date to be arranged. Yeah, on a date to, 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 to. <laughs> All right, on a date to be arranged. Yeah, Can you date. repeat that? On a date to on be arranged. On a date to be arranged. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right, Tabitha. Uh, can you repeat these words? I will uh, take you in the time to come as my husband. I will take you in the time to come as my husband. Your wife to be. Your wife to be. At a date to be arranged. At a date to be arranged. Can you lift up your finger that has the ring? Uh, with this ring. With this ring. A gift from you, Nathan. A gift from you, Nathan. And a token of my promise. And a token of my promise. I engage you. I engage you. Praise God. Uh, this ring that we have all witnessed. Okay. 
the day that we have all witnessed being worn by the bride is a gift to the bride pending the wedding a separate ring from the wedding ring so this morning I would like to say congratulations to Nathan and Tabitha may the Lord bless you praise God and uh, I would like to say best of wishes to you both you can take your seat Nathan and uh, at this time I'm going to ask uh, someone from Nathan's side Nathan's family just to come and give witness to this occasion and then we'll also ask somebody from Tabitha's side also come and witness just give a few words upon this occasion that is here before us and uh, while they are coming let's just bow our heads and pray Heavenly Father we thank you once again this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus for this wonderful glorious occasion between Nathan and Tabitha. We thank you for this stage that they have been able to accomplish. May you continue, Lord, to be with them for the rest of the journey that remains. In Jesus' name I pray. Lord, as we dedicate them to this cause, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'll ask a, a relative of, uh, of Nathan to come and just say, Two three words. Actually, we have we have Nathan's parents and relatives. Nathan's father and Nathan's mother. I'm sure there's somebody in the congregation. Amen. I was speaking to them last night, and they said we will be there. Amen. And we also have relatives from Tabitha side. I'm sure they are seated somewhere in the congregation. Amen. But just for this moment, we would like to give uh, Nathan's sister just a few minutes to say some to express her feelings. But if I go to Rasal, say, put out or a topic, ah, I didn't want to be a topic. Sana Ibab. Amen. The one thing she knows about here is that she's very honest. I know who I can and you forgot to find a way to move a bit. No one's a woman. Amen. Amen. We are thankful for the family accepting the bride. And uh, we realize this is nothing that is being done in the dark. Amen. So somebody from Tabitha's side can you quickly come forward all the support that has come from, from the family members. Amen. So uh, they have some cakes before us here. Um, it's just the time is not on our side. Uh, they, would, they would have wanted one of the cakes to be cut and shared amongst the congregation. Uh, like I said, time is not on our side. So um, what we will ask them to do is just cut 
and will be distributed to the congregation it will be distributed as we are going out after the service maybe they can stand by the door with uh, a tray or whatever they have uh, as people are going out you can always pick your piece of cake as you go out and I think there is uh, three other cakes which they would like to honor certain individuals so I'm going to ask them to do that quickly. That, um, whichever the individuals that are to receive a cake, as a gesture of appreciation. So uh, quickly, can you do that, uh, Nathan? Nathan. Timothy. Take the cakes to the people. Who are you starting with? Maybe your in There's a special uh, yeah, people who want to sing for Nathan and uh, Tabitha. They can come right away. Round of applause as she comes. Can we come? Nathan's sisters up here in front. They want to sing. Yeah, I'm just here. Yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Take the next one. A pangwari mazoti fada. A pangwari mazoti fada. Na isoso iwa. We are so happy for this wonderful occasion. Uh, happy for Nathan and Tabitha. I think what we'll do, the cutting of that cake, we will do it as soon as the service is over. Then it will be distributed uh, as soon as they, they cut it. So for now, you can take your seats. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, Nathan, can you take your place? You can maybe go back in the congregation. Hallelujah. Amen. So we praise God for that. Amen. Uh, 
without wasting much time, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to welcome Pastor Bure and uh, his uh, congregation and the believers from uh, his church and, uh, who are here with us today. Like I previously uh, let you know that we will be having these combined meetings. So, uh, without wasting much time, Solomon, God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're sitting right next to the guy you baptized. <laughs> he was telling me about it when you came in. Brother Solomon was originally in Bindura, and, uh, the Lord had his way with him and he ended up in Harare. But, uh, he's a wonderful brother. And God bless you. Thank you for coming to be with us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's stand to our feet. Amen. I'll ask the song leader to give us a song. Yes, uh, the minister. Amen. We'd like to welcome you, Pastor. God bless you. Amen. Just take your liberty. And May the Lord use you in a wonderful way. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Sing to break every chain, break every chain, break every. There's an army rising up. Sing, there's an army rising up. Oh, there's an army rising. chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain 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 Break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning. We are so thankful to be gathered in the house of the Lord. There is no better place to be but to be in the house of the Lord. I'd like to thank the pastor so much for inviting me. Amen. Actually, he was supposed to be somewhere uh, and he had uh, trust enough that I was going to do a good job in his absence. Thank you so much, Pastor. Amen. Brother Gardner started preaching I think 35 years ago. Or 30 years ago. Somewhere there. <laughs> He started preaching when he was a little boy. 
a boy that was raised among his other boys started preaching. Right, it's almost 40 years. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we are so grateful. I'm highly honored, actually, to have friends like him by my side. God given gifts. God given friends. Life from life, from this present life. And to the other life coming. I know we will be together. So many things has happened. Amen. But we are still holding on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, since I've got two services. I'm not going to hurry myself. I'm going to take it uh, slow, slow. Amen. Building up to where we are supposed to reach. Amen. I believe the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Amen. We'll be able to do it within the time. Amen. Tabith, Tabith, you have been well received. Amen. 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 Papa Paita, a composition. Hesh? Sandina kids, Anzi Takanoga, Nyora, and Zuro. Huh? Praise the Lord. Totenda Mari needs to pose a Mari. She posed. Praise the Lord. Amen. While we're standing, Chakamira. Also, I would like to greet our little church. church yedu, I'm seeing their faces here. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. Brother Gardner is a close friend of mine. Uh, our friendship stretches. I think it's 41 or 42 years old. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. We'll open our Bible to Joel chapter 1. Um, Joel chapter 1. Verse 1. I am going to go back to the old quotations that I quoted. To build up for the climax tomorrow. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear all ye inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers, that's Joel chapter 1. Joel 1. Uh, from verse 2. Yeah. I'm um, reading verse 3. Tell your children of it and let your children tell their children and their children another generation. And the prophet right there says tell the Gentiles. Joel just said another generation. Some of the things we just left hanging. This prophetic ministry picks up their hanging things which these other prophets left hanging. When this prophet Malachi 4 comes, he makes sure because his ministry is to gather the loosens to give them a meaning. This is the day 
This is the prophetic class of people that God has read in this day to hear prophetic utterance. Amen. Has this been in your days? Yes. Ye old men, has this been in your days? Or even in the days of your fathers? Amen. The question is the answer. Ye old men, give ear. This has been in your days. You were not aware of it. These things were happening. You didn't understand. But these things were happening in your days. Amen. Or oh, even in the days of your fathers. Because these things happened in the Garden of Eden. That's when these four Roman bugs came. Way back in the Garden of Eden. But you didn't know what it was. You didn't know what this palm worm was. You thought it was a worm. But it's not a worm. It's a system. Amen. Amen. It started way back. <laughs> it's the Roman system. We may be seated. Tell your children of it. Hallelujah. Let your children tell their children. And their children, another generation. Keep this information. Don't let it die. Please deliver it to the Gentiles. They are they to whom it was given to understand the mystery. Oh. Amen. Amen. That which the Palma Worm had left. He had the locust eaten. <laughs> See the way, the way Joel is putting it. That which the palmer worm had left. You need to know that you palmer worm. Because it's not just a, a natural worm. It is a system to destroy the work of God. Amen. But it comes just like a palmer worm. Just like a little worm. Some innocent little thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's a worm that comes in three in four stages. Amen. Death to the church. Amen. It's what these worms bring. Amen. Amen. And let's go to the Joel chapter 2. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. Be glad, ye brides, and rejoice in the Lord, your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain at the first month. And the flows shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. Amen. Wine represents stimulation wine, of revelation. You know, Whenever you hear about wine, wine, it stands for stimulation. You know, stimulation of there are things that are to be revealed in your day. You know, oh, my brother. God bless you. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Verse 24. And the floors shall be full of wheat. Yes. This day Zuarino. is this scripture fulfilled. Your flows shall be full of wheat. Look at the amount of books on the floor. <laughs> Amen. We don't have time to talk about these things. Our flows are full. This is the day that Joel spoke about. And the floors shall be full of wheat. And the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the cankerworm, the caterpillar, palmerworm, my great army which is sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And you shall know that I'm in your midst. Amen. Amen. And that I'm the Lord your God. Your own God. Hmm? He is your own God. None else. Mm, and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Praise the Lord. May God bless the reading of his word. And I would like to read another scripture. Genesis chapter 20. Genesis 20. Verse 6. And God said unto him in a dream. Amen. All right, let me start it from verse 4. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, will thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she, even she herself, said he is my brother. And the integrity of my heart, in the integrity of my heart, and innocence of my hands, have I done this? And God said unto him in a dream, Yeah, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Amen. Abimelech was not uh, permitted to touch her. To touch who? Kubatani. Abraham's bride. Abraham. Abraham's wife. Abraham. Now therefore restore the man his wife. For he is a prophet. And he shall pray for thee he and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know that thou shalt surely die. Thou and all that are thine. Amen. 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 And Yes, but Restore that man's wife. Amen. It was 
a false meter. He was applying the law of enforcement. If you don't do this, you will die. Amen. You are living in the life of the restoration of this bride. And it's a force matter. It's not an issue that the tree will be and until it's just a stump. The enforcement is saying we will die if we don't restore. Amen. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for allowing us to come into your house. Spirit divine, we appeal unto thee, my dear God. Let every man's word be a lie and God's word be the truth. Lord, we spread our hearts before you like a red carpet for you, Lord Jesus. Come into our hearts, Lord. Father, we know the minister quite very well. We are used to him. We know him quite very well. But Lord, we are believing that Lord is part of the firefold ministry. And his work, Lord Jesus Christ, is to minister to her, Mrs. Jesus. Would you please take him aside, Lord, and speak. Let every man's word be a lie and God's word be the truth. You know, we love the truth because truth will set us free from the bondage of sin, from the mark of sin. Dear Lord Jesus, we commit the service in your hands. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I'm going to quote uh, the quotations that I quoted last time. From Palma Wem, Locust, and Caterpillar. We are talking about um, <laughs> the future home. Is <laughs> the future home? Ah, uh, But we will be dwelling much on restoration. There was a house that God had built for himself. A house to dwell. Amen. In the Garden of Eden. It was built according to God's blueprint. Amen. When it was built, God came down. Genesis 2-7. Genesis 2-7. Amen. And he dwelt in the house. Amen. The house was Adam. Adam was created in the image of God. A man in God's image. The visible part of the invisible God. God had left the heavens and took form the image of a man. God was walking on two feet. Mm. God had now two hands, two feet, and a mouth. In the Garden of Eden, that's when he tasted the water that he had created. He took a glass of water and he tasted the water. He could not do it then because the spirit cannot taste water. He humbled himself. 
gathered himself from the four corners from eternity. For he filled, he filled all space and time. So he had to gather himself. Amen. And the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Mm. We can say, and the word became flesh in the Garden of Eden. Mm. And the word became flesh when Adam was created. The word became flesh. Amen. That was the masterpiece of God. God had created all these other animals. Muka ne mando zazo. Shiri ne mando zazo. Makava ne mando yao. Kuma buffaloes ne mando yao. Ma dongui ma zebra ne mando yazo. Ma lions akasiyana sa ne mando yao. Hmm. Paka pe zazo se zozo. Ndoku ba zo sika moon. In his own image. And in his own likeness. But as we say, it's a young one. It's a young one. It's a young one. It's a young one. Ndoku vavasi kuti piti piti mumutumbi. Mwari pachao. And man became a living soul. Amen. In the person of Adam. That was the house. What house will you build me? Heavens is my seat. The heavens are the earth is my footstool. Now what, what, how can you build me? A body has thou prepared for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when God was in that form, Genesis chapter 3, Genesis 3, came this other system. Amen. We know the guy is Satan himself. The one that Isaiah spoke of in Genesis. Um, Isaiah, chapter, Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah 14. The man that had five ambitions. Right. Now, we are coming into a serious thought of subjects here. Says the prophet. That's uh, Palm Awem, Kenka Wem, page 35. Page 8, paragraph 35. Now we are coming into a serious thought of subjects here. Serious thought of subjects. Here. I believe that there will come a time of the restoring of all things. Time has come. This is the time. That has been done wrong. Restoring of all things that has been done wrong. And we are trying with all that is within us. And other men are trying. Such great evangelists as Billy Graham. These other men are trying. They are not doing the job. These men are trying. Such great evangelists as Billy Graham. San Billy Graham, uh, Roberts, or Roberts, and many others of the outstanding evangelists, ministers, pastors who are loyal to their posts, are trying to see a revival in our time. And you, the children of God, are praying for a revival in our time. Page, uh, paragraph 36. Now remember that only Anything can work as you work in the law of that thing. Amen. 
The cosmic forces can only move according Simbare to cosmic denga, law. Kungo bata, maringene, murao. The planets can only move as they are moved by the law denga, of the planets. Kufamba, chete, maringene, rongwa, we the sun can only rise Zua, according as the earth turns to the sun. Kungo Buddha, Maringe, Amen. Right. The sun can only rise according as the earth turns to the sun. And there, and that day, is everything has to work according to the law of his plan. For God made all things and made a law for that thing. And then it's God to turn and to work and to operate according to the law of that item. It will not work correctly any other way. So it's put a chain on a sprocket and you have to make a chain on a sprocket and then put it on a ground peg. You might be able to make a little bit of time, but the only way that you make a correct time with that chain is to put a sprocket. Um, uh, but the only way that you will ever make correct time with that chain is to put a sprocket that equal to the sprocket that's on the back of it. And then those little holes in that chain to meet just exactly timed, timed with the sprocket. Then you can go somewhere. And I'm sure that we got a sprocket, a wrong sprocket somewhere. The church is moving Chechi. too slow for the hour we are living. There is something radically wrong. And it behooves us in this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is becoming us. It behooves us in this day at the near coming of the Lord to sit down and study this and see what's wrong. Find the cause. You can never find a cue till you find the cause. Amen. This bride tree it had fruits right on the top. It had full, uh, it had green leaves. But we Ma can't see the fruit e anymore. Because bereko. the palmer worm has dealt with the fruit. Amen. It is that one insect that comes and works in four stages. It is that one devil. Working and three and four stages. Amen. Amen. He started with the fruit. Finished all the fruit. And it changed its form. And it became a locust. And started working on the leaves. Hallelujah. It is only in this day when we can understand who that person is. Amen. There is an unveiling of God. When God has been unveiled, the devil is also unveiled. He is put it open. As the great light comes down, all things that has been laying undercover are exposed. They can't hide anymore. Amen. Amen. So that locust is not a grasshopper. It is part of the system. 
of the destroying angel of this army that has been sent to destroy the bright tree it is a system on a mission to bring down the bright tree amen but we are hanging on this promise I will restore I personal pronoun God will restore what the cacao what the cutter what the locust what the caterpillar what the these four Roman bugs is eaten I'm going to do it myself I'm the builder that build the house I still have the materials to restore not to replace but to restore the tree and to its former glory Amen. Amen I have the power to do so to do it Praise the Lord. But what we need to do, we need to go back to the beginning and see what was taking place there. When this house was built, how it was built, the materials, the materials that God used to build that house, that he dwelt himself. Amen. We need to see the glory of the former house. When it was set there in the Garden of Eden. And we also need to sit in at a certain position to see these Roman bugs. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than all the beasts of the field. Amen. We need to have a correct vision of the things that took place. Amen. Or else we will never be able to tell. Amen. We cannot even use the law of enforcement to the devil. If we don't know the glory of the former house, the devil can give you something else to replace that house. Amen. That's why it is very important to go back and to find out how the house was constructed. Amen. Because God is not desperate. He's not going to tack uh, 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 the occupation into that house if it's not been built according to the plan that was shown to Moses. Noah, this ark has to be built so many cubits high, so many stories. He was being specific and he used gopher tree. Amen. That absorbent wood the wood among us woods that can absorb material into itself. Amen. Or else God was not going to save men through some boats. Beautiful ones. Made out of some very expensive wood. <laughs> it had to be gopher wood. Amen. That is the qualities to absorb. Amen. Mm. Amen. He says, we said we are just laying a background. Eh? 
If a doctor, if you go into his office and you say, I'm having headaches, you go to the pastor. Pastor, I can't resist this. This thing called, this, this bag called women. This bag called drinking. Amen. You know what the doctor will do? If a doctor, if you go into his office, you say, I'm having headaches, and sick at my stomach, and he gives you a little aspirin or something, and sends you away. He is just trying to get rid of you. A real genuine doctor will diagnose the case until he finds what organ is out of order. Then work from that organ. That's why the prophet said, go back to the original. Go and find out the root cause of this problem. Why the church is not moving. Amen. Oh, Why the church is not matching the victors much? Oh, Amen. That's the way it is with the kingdom of God. We have got to find out what's wrong. Then you work from that. The scripture is like a doctor's prescription. A doctor scientist who work hard to find a prescription to for the killing of a certain gem. Disease that's in your body. Like typhoid fever or some disease. That they can give you a serum that will kill the typhoid gem. And yet it has Chiberech. to be so carefully handled out. So careful handled out until this. If there is not enough of it, it will not help the patient. And if there is something else added, it might kill the patient. It's got to be given by the druggist. Just according to the prescription. If there is something wrong in the church today. That is not progressing the way it should. Amen. God is speaking to individuals. He is speaking to families. He is speaking to us as a church. As a You know what it is to be a Christian? Amen. You are your own policeman. You are always present where you are going. Wherever you are going. You are always present. You know what's taking place in your life. No one has to police your life. You know yourself. The bride Mwenga. has made herself ready. It's not the pastor who is supposed to fix you. The bride has made herself ready. It has been given unto her. She has been given the materials. Dress up. Amen. Dressing in a way to attract your groom. You know it yourself. You can hide it from men. But you can't hide it from God. That eye is watching you. In your bathroom. That eye is watching you. In your bedroom. That eye is watching you. When you are driving. In your office. Amen. You know yourself. This 
insects were sent to destroy an individual, to destroy homes, to destroy churches, to destroy the whole age. Amen. The whole generation. They are sent to accomplish their mission. Amen. Their mission is to destroy individuals, families, churches, the whole generation, the whole gentle dispensation put together. These four insects can do the job. Amen. Right. Therefore, if there is something wrong in the church today, and I'm saying, if there is something in, in your own life, that you want to bring it very close, I'm saying, I'm saying we want to bring it very close. Because when God is dealing with us, He is dealing with us as individuals. He only deals with Israel as a nation. But as for us, we don't need to uh, uh, generalize this. We need to bring it very close to yourself. Before we take it to your wife, before we take it to your husband, this is coming straight to you to make your life, to fix your life. This message is intended is being preached to give you the opportunity to fix your life. Not tomorrow. Today. Well, it's yet today. You need to take this opportunity to fix your life. For the bride has made herself ready. She has made herself ready. Amen. She has been given the materials to fix herself. That she may dress properly. I'm sorry for using this dirty thing here. My wife gave me something cleaner than this. But I think I left it in one of my jackets. So I had to Check this one I'm sorry about that. Amen. Amen. Right. Um, right. It's to my opinion that we ought to go back to the prescription. Find out just exactly what's wrong. That this church is so sick. That there is disease in our church. Sin disease. What is sin? It's unbelief. Amen. Amen. Then we have got to find out what the doctor prescribed and see if our drug pastors are giving us the right prescription. And remember, you can add something to a real close diagnosed, diagnosed uh, scripture and kill the patient. And maybe I don't say we have, but what if some of our drug is added something to God's prescription? And this could also be a sinful duty. Go, can have a move to a way zero. So, go, mushonga, go, pay one more. If they have, can have a daro. They killing the patient. Vano ura ya warwere, letting them die in sin. Vano vasi ya wachifa muzivi. Pane mira iro ya kapi wana mari. Yati singa go ne kuti zakuai. Musa we zero. Musa Tabuza. Amen. Just do it the way the prophet said it. Amen. Develop that love in yourself to do it in the prophet's way. Amen. Otherwise, you will kill the patient. 
Amen. Just adding a little bit of it. Amen. We'll kill the patient. Instead of uh, uh, knocking that disease out from him. Instead of that prescription to knock the disease, it will knock the person. Amen. A druggist give you know, a man acid. acid. Carbonic acid. Carbonic acid. A few years ago. Just as sincere as he could be. And a registered pharmacy. And it killed the man. Yet he was sincere. There isn't sincerity. I have seen sincerity among us the heathens. That would make Christian. That would make Christian. Sincerity look like something way back in the antique lines. Amen. Amen. Just a few years ago, Sin pagans and do. that would lay their, their babies in the mouth of an alligator to sacrifice it to a god of the waters. I couldn't find that sincerity among Christians. I have seen people that would lay on spikes. The prophet is not saying I heard. He said I saw. When the, if the prophet says I saw, I saw it also. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I was there. He has got better eyes than mine. Even if I was there, I would ask him what he had seen. Amen. All right. I've seen them take babies and little fellows and cut them uh, and march them over and bleed them and sometimes take their lives. Deep sincerity, sincerity but they are wrong. Now, let's find something. Uh, or Joel, rather. I think he gave us a great break, background here. And that's what we want to take for a reading. He said, tell your children, tell your, tell their children, tell, the, tell your children to tell their children. And there's another one, and so forth, to another generation, which will be Gentiles. Tell Israel to keep telling it. The message is going to reach its destination later. When you tell that other generation, Amen. And now this scripture that Joe spoke of is fulfilled today. As we, the Gentiles, has received it. He said, Amen. That message of Joel couldn't be fulfilled that time. This is the day of the fulfillment of the scripture of Joel. That I will resolve oh, what these four Roman bags has eaten. This masterpiece, this master family, masterpiece family of God that God placed in the Garden of Eden. That four Roman bags has eaten it. He has brought it down. But in this day that we are living, I am going to restore it. Mm. It is important to know what these caterpillars ate. What that uh, 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 masterpiece family possessed. Amen. 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 
eternal life. <laughs> My God. Itonge. Subdue it. Itonge. Let this man have dominion over every creeping thing that's upon the face of the earth. Amen. And let him have soy life. Adam possessed the life of God. Adam akangaka piwa upenyu usingapere. Saka, kanangaka piwa upenyu usingapere. Ayo urara masei mnika ino guma. Yanga yaka gaziru wa kutisa gumi. Amen. Nekuti murizi wayo akangaka piwa soy life. Amen. Nika yaifu anu wakuyenda rambiri. Pasina kuchembira. Hmm. This is not the world. This is not the garden of Eden. This is not the earth that was spoken of in Genesis chapter 1. Nika hmm. Genesis chapter 1. Yaka parara. It passed through a paradecomia. It was destroyed during the, the uh, anti-delivering age. Amen. 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 Yatakatsikai ya nyikaye ichitu reserved for the holy fire of God. Moto mucho ene wamari. Ama. Our message is. Marito yedu inoti. The future home. Musha uchawia. Ama. Of the heavenly. We chikomba chikomba. What house will you build me? Imba. Of the heavenly groom and the earthly bride. But the first house that he occupied in the Garden of Eden was destroyed together with the earth that then was. It was destroyed. Amen. It is passing through some cleansing process. Amen. It has to pass through three stages. Oh my God. Okay. Praise the Lord. Um, right. I think we'll end somewhere here. And do a quick job tomorrow. Because tomorrow we won't have. Uh, we will have time. Amen. Amen. Yes. And these insects, if you get your book on insects. I love the prophet, the, 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 the language of the prophet. He says these insects as if they are insects. He's quite aware that it's a Roman system <laughs> with a mission to destroy. Amen. When he says insects, we know what it is ourselves. Because we sit under this prophetic message. That is not some innocent thing. It's not some innocent thing like an insect. It is a program of the devil. <laughs> that has been destroying families, individuals, destroying nations. These insects, they have the ability to, to destroy kingdoms.
colleagues. Mm. Uh, right. And these insects, if you will get your book on insects, you will notice that, that four different insects is the cell, same self insect. In four different stages. There are no two devils. There is one Satan. Devil. Diabolos. The Mamba. Lucifer. Lucifer. It's one devil. Diabolos. In different stages of his life. All of us know that a, a, a cocoon is nothing but a caterpillar. We know that a, a cocoon is nothing but a caterpillar covered over. And it's going to hatch out a butterfly. And a butterfly is a caterpillar before it hatches out. The palm worm, the locust, and so forth is the same. It's the same insects. Now listen close. Whatever happened at the first place with the insect of the palmer worm, it just became a caterpillar later. And the caterpillar became a locust later. And whatever it was that started in the beginning is still the same thing. Whatever that thing that started the thing. That thing that started the ball rolling. It's still the same thing. Right at the end. And whatever it was that started in the beginning. It's still the same thing that's causing the trouble today. And let's go back now in the scriptures and find out what started. Right. Now, we you know, know that we can only build a church first upon the material that God gave us to build it with. Can I hear you? 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 He's always specific. In a certain way. Moses build that tabernacle according to the fashion that I showed you in heaven. Amen. If you want to prosper in this great work, in this great work, don't change. Don't substitute anything. Just take the weight of God. Just love to take it the way it was given. Don't put some spices. Spice it up. So that it, it can be easier for the people to accept. No. Not this. Amen. Not the house of God. This, oh, my. This many membered body called the body of Jesus Christ. It is not called the bodies. It is one body composed of many members. Take notes of this one thing. If you are building that house, you have to use the correct materials. Now we know that we can only build a church first upon the material that God gave us to build it with. That's all we have. And I think before, I know this is strong and it's on tape. Hundreds of people around the world will hear but before we can ever have a building of the church of God, we have to restore back all those things that this insect has eaten out of it. We don't just build. The first thing to do is restore what these four Roman bugs has eaten. If they ate the back, which is the doctrine, 
Restore the back bed. Don't take sikamo back. To replace uh, 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 that vine. You have to take the right path. My God. We have to restore all those things that this insects in this house. We have to go back and find out what the insects ate. <laughs> Let's journey back. Ama. Let's see those insects in action. See what they were eating. The things that they got rid of from that tree. And before the vine of the Lord, we will have to go back and find out what the insects ate. And before this vine of the Lord, the grapevine, he is the vine. We are the branches. And before we can ever find out, all the church can stand in its formal and original power. We have to go back and find out what the insects ate. And the church will have to be restored back to that. Or it will never stand in its power. And the glory of its face standing. If the bark is torn off of a tree. The bark represents doctrine. If the bark is torn off of a tree, we got to get back. We got to get back back on it again. Grow the bark first. You can't have apples till you grow the bark. For the bark is the same line. The step line is the lifeline. Amen. And the scripture we and the Baru. scriptures, God's holy Bible, is the lifeline to the church, to any Baru. church. How could we ever bring up grape sap through Sikamobak? grape. Just won't work. We got to have grapevine back. We have got to have the original back. And there is only one way that the back can ever come back on the vine. Is when God grows it himself. There is no way. When these Roman bags is eaten off, torn that back, you cannot replace it with the sick and The only way for that grape vine to produce grapes, it is when God himself grows the vine back, the grape vine back, when he himself, for the Lord himself, shall descend from heaven with a shout. Gathering up of the people together. Amen. It has to be him. He himself doing it. Throwing the back back. Restoring the correct doctrine. All this that has been eaten from the tree. Amen. Okay. And you, uh, right. We can't make some and put it on it. It won't work. No man made scheme. No man made scheme will work. It will take God's way. Or it will never live. Man made schemes. Man made schemes will not work. You might wrap a rug around the tree. And say, let it grow. A rag wasn't God's program. It's got to be back. Lifeline. And when it comes from the roots, it will produce the same life that the tree had before the insect ate it. Oh my God. Praise God. 
We'll take it from this tomorrow. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good, isn't he? Wonderful. Amen. You know what? The purpose of the message of the hour was to be the basis for which God can have a church again. Without this message, friends, there can be no bride, there can be no church, there can be no Christians without this message. People might try this, that, and the other, but if you followed closely what was being said by the prophet, it, there had to be a message come back in the end times. There had to be a restoration in these end times. Hallelujah. God had to bring back the word. Just like the prophet said in the church, Age book. He says, we see an Elijah coming back for a work of restoration. Listen close. Restoration in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Restoring what? Restoring the word. Hallelujah. And now since we have the message, they can be Christians. Since we have the message, they can be a church. Since we have the message, they can be a bride. Since we have the message, they can be real, genuine preachers, real, genuine ministers of the gospel. This message has come out of the roots. Just like the prophet is telling us. It's a message from the roots. Healing from the roots. Discernment from the roots. The revelation of the word from the roots. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And that root is Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. Let's just turn to our feet for a moment. Hallelujah. Pastor, God bless you. I really appreciate that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just bow our heads. Amen. God has spoken to us as individuals, as families, as a church, as an age. The Lord has spoken to us. How many can say amen? Amen. Amen. Each and every one of us we can see ourselves in the mirror of the word. Hallelujah. With our heads bowed down. Our Anybody here that would Gana like to be remembered in prayer and say, Lord, you Oji have directed your word to my situation. You have given me the material to start working on my life. You've given me the substance. And I want to make myself ready. And just realizing, amen, a sister amongst us, brother Shane's wife, brother Shane, amen, who is uh, currently in the UK, UK. but he's, he comes and goes, he's a brother to brother Darren Balakis. Darren, brother Darren, Darren. his wife is here with us. Amen. Amen. I just realized you just a little while. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll say yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I'll say yes. Yes. I say yes, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit now just deal with you. Deal with your heart. Deal with your condition. Deal with your case. Yes. Just raise your hand if you need to be remembered in prayer. Lord, remember me this afternoon. As we bow our heads to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again this afternoon that Lord, we can come before your throne of grace and mercy today. 
Lord God, I believe that you have spoken in our midst. Lord, you said he that has ears because there are some that do not have ears. But you said the one that has got those ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Lord, open our ears, Lord. The devil may have blocked our ears. The devil may have closed our ears. But Lord, I pray that you will open our ears, open our understanding, Lord, that we might be able to, to, to hear, hallelujah, to recognize, and to act upon the word of the living God. I pray you will bless each and every one that has raised up their hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Holy Ghost just bless us. The Holy Ghost move in our lives, work in our lives. We want to see you manifested, Lord. You've given us a message. You've given us the revelation for the age we are living in. Hallelujah. The shout of the king is in the camp. You've given us the materials to be prepared. We have a message that has emanated from the very roots. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord. You reserved this life for us in the end time. It was all reserved in the roots. It was all kept in the roots. But this is a manifesting time and a message coming forth. Hallelujah. To bring forth the church in this hour. We thank you and appreciate you. Bless each and every one, Lord. Help each and every one. You see the hands that have been lifted up. I pray the blessing of the Lord upon each and every one. In Jesus' precious holy name.